Hey, it's Edge here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for S&P 500. I'll cover wave analysis with the elite wave theory and provide multiple scenarios a price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on higher time frame, my main scenario is this one in which we have this as a W, X and wave Y either here or W, X, Y, X, Z. Um, again, both these scenarios are expecting a three-way move here uh, to create new lows. Uh, one scenario is just uh, creating a bit larger wave Y here uh, than the other one. So nothing else here. Uh, my main scenario in this is again saying that we had an ABC here, ABC and now that ABC three-way move here. Um, so overall that's the expectation. In here we are looking at a five-way move here as a one, two, three, four, five into an A wave. Uh, then we would be looking for this wave B and then downwards for the wave C. Uh, overall, we have a few different options here that we're going to be diving into next. Now, let's start with, with the most uh, unlikely of them all, <laughs> the bearish scenario in which we have already completed A, B, C here and the wave B here. So this is the most unlikely for me, saying that we have a one, two, and this structure would get us to wave three somehow. Um, I don't like this structure here as a five way move. I can't see the one, two here. We don't have a good divergence here on a higher time frame, and the way to retrace is so much here off the wave one that it is not likely for to be a wave two. So those are a few, few issues I have with this count, but again, it has not invalidated itself, so that's why I'm keeping it around. Uh, a bit more likely is something like this, in which we have this as a five-way structure into wave one or A wave, and then some kind of three wave into W, um, A, B, C into X, and then again, uh, three way here into the wave Y to complete the wave B or wave two. So overall, it would be something like this. Um, yeah, this is looking pretty good to me um, at the moment. I'm definitely looking at this to be a somewhat significant low uh, as we are expecting that C wave here or third wave way higher. Um, of course, um, we don't need to be looking at these targets as of yet as we have not really taken out even the first wave here. Um, at the moment, this, well, we'll look into this smaller time frame in just a moment. Um, the next scenario is, is more complex in which we have three way structure here, then again, three ways here, and then three ways here into A wave. So as you see, these structures are getting uh, lower degrees by each step. And the reason I don't like this as much is because uh, the length in time and in price, these are not getting any difference, basically. There's no significant change. So to me, this is, is probably the uh, second worst looking of them all. Um, this diagonal or the fact that we have some kind of move up here as the third uh, or th three way move um, is looking the best. But is this an A wave? And then we have A, B and C creating a connector wave in the middle to connect this structure over here to this one. Um, is that likely? Not too much. Well, it can, but again, here, what we are expecting is a pivot from these lows higher for the C wave to complete the B wave. And then we would be looking for C wave down here. Um, and then we would only be pivoting from this larger time frame structure like so. Again, this wave B or wave X would be very large compared to a W. That's why I don't really like it. Um, this again, uh, these two complex and the diagonal here can be combined in which we would have this as a three-way structure. This would be another three-way structure. And now we would be looking for for a leg or, con or connecting this structure to this structure here, right? So this structure in the middle would be the connector. I think that is the main, main idea overall that I'm looking at, whether this is five ways or three ways. Um, at the moment, this structure looks impulsive here. So we'll look into that next. Um, before that though, let's jump into this previous structure here. 
uh, in which again we have three way structures a b and c uh, all three ways and then again this is another three way structure and then this one i did not want to be placing this uh, as it is pretty ugly looking but again is legal a one two three four five so uh, a zigzag abc here at the moment we have um, tapped this range value area low from starting from these highs around the 8th of july uh, to current date we can see that again acted that that acted as a support area overall um, is not very significant to me uh, and this upwards movement from from the lows here did not really <laughs> be be too impulsive um, at least yet it is definitely possible that we have a one two one two and then this would be some kind of three way move back uh, as a wave two of some sorts um, but yeah the overall structure here looks kind of impulsive um, this has taken less time this structure than it took to uh, get back to these lows which means again this is more likely to be an impulse wave structure overall as it has taken the price or previous price over in less time than it had had um, time to reverse this price right so that makes this more impulsive looking overall so to me even though we are not getting to the normal extensions here on price we can get right to the one-to-one -one extension basically around here um, we could be looking at this still as an impulsive structure the other scenario of course is that this is a five three and five creating an abc structure here and then this would be some kind of b wave and then we would be looking for higher prices again to create a this would be a w x and y again here we would be looking at some kind of a 38.2 retracement overall if this is indeed yeah that's pretty much it 38.2 retracement uh, for the wave B if this indeed or wave X if this is a W X and Y in here we would be expecting some kind of three-way move as well and uh, getting towards the one-to-one -one parity which would be lying around here of course it is possible that this structure in the middle here uh, is not completed and this is indeed just the first leg then we have another one and another one just taking out these lows um, as the as the main target and then we would be getting this one-to-one -one a bit lower and we could be looking at the point of control more as a one-to-one -one target um, and this I think feel like could be the preferred way to look at this at the moment um, at the moment here we are looking at this as the way B or wave 2 um, but of course that is possible that we had that as a w at that point again we would have this as a x wave and as the whole structure would be a w x y we would be just looking for three-way structure here so we wouldn't need any impulsive structure getting into here um, but we'll see how this turns out definitely if this gets below these current lows that we had here on the range value area low we would be looking at retracement of around that 60% or 50% to 61.8% area to take a another long possibility if the wave count supports it as a three-way move but yeah that is pretty much everything I wanted to cover here on S&P 500 today um, link to my free discord survey in the description below and for now I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day see you in the next video bye bye